Welcome to Mainly Everything. My name's John. Um, sorry for the delay in videos, but got a cool one today. So, um, as you guys know, I absolutely love my PB Swiss stubby <clears throat> um, bit driver. So, right here, whoa, I have a package from Tool Lady. For those who don't know Tool Lady, um, they are a really cool website. Um, this is their information. That's the website, www.toollady.com. Um, Kyle and Heppenstall is the owner, and they specialize in PB Swiss. All they do is they um, do PB Swiss stuff. Uh, I think they're based out of Washington, I believe. So, um, let's see. Anything else in here? Nope. Okay. So, they wrap it up very nicely. Again, I'm using this to cut things. Don't do this. This is very unsafe. So, brown paper. Really cool they wrap it up in that. So, here are they. Or, here they are. Sorry. Awesome. First of all, awesome. Everything's awesome. So, okay. This is the 8453. We'll come back to this guy. This is the 8135. This is a 0.4 um, flathead. Everything is serialized. Even these guys are serialized, which is cool. Um, it does have the same kind of like step down tip on it. Um, and it tells you there. Really bold, which is nice. Feels good. It's all Swiss, blah, 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 Swiss grip, which is nice. Um, Phillips is a number two Phillips. Again, serial numbers right here. Really nice tip on it. Um, this one is a lot bigger than um, the flathead, though, just so you know, as you can probably tell. So, I bought these two. I recently bought this one, and I would like to do a comparison between these two. So, I will be right back, because I'm going to get my old one. Be right back. Alright, so, okay, so, brand new one, right here. Uh, this is, again, the PB8453, and this is a PB8453 V01. Now, I'm not sure why this one isn't called V02. Um, I'm not sure if they discontinued this, although DRPD still sells it. Um, and I think Tool Lady might, Tool Lady might even sell it. Um, for those who don't know, PB Swiss sometimes can be hard to find on sources like Amazon and stuff like that, and it can be really overpriced there. Um, although I would still suggest looking at Amazon for PB Swiss stuff. Um, there are a couple good sites, um, like DRPD is one. Um, they do their slogans like bespoke bicycles and fine tools, um, and Tool Lady is another. Now, the card I showed you is for Thule. Um, I don't have a card for DRPD, unfortunately, that I can show you. But, okay. So, the reason I make this video is to kind of compare this to this. And I figured it would be a better comparison if I bought a brand new one. Because I bought a... Obviously, this is brand new. And I don't really want to compare it to this guy because I've used and abused this guy a little bit. Um, absolutely love this thing, though. Um, I have made some changes to the bits in here. Um, it, these are different. So this one, the brand new one that I just bought, can't, comes with a 15 Torx, 20 Torx, and a 25. A 0.8 um, slotted, a number one, and a number two Phillips. Now, this one came with a 345 hex, number one Phillips, and number two Phillips. I added a number zero, which is right here. And a, uh, and I got rid of all the hexes it came with because I deal more, much more with SAE, uh, SAE hex. And I have a 332 and an eighth right there. And I also added this little 0.5 um, slotted. It just makes it a little bit more well-rounded for what I do. Um, all right, so 
this is the old one. Um, it This stuff kind of starts to scrape off a little bit. I've pulled a couple chunks off. I don't know if you can really see. You probably can't really see that, but a couple chunks off. Still works really good. Still really smooth. Um, this still spins really well. Not, no problems with it. The bits don't fall out or anything yet, which is good. Um, you can hear them, though, if you shake it, but that's the same with all these, even the brand new one. Um, these I bought because I really wanted them, basically, is a reason. Um, these were kind of expensive, uh, 10 bucks a piece probably or something. Um, but I do kind of want a standard slotted and Phillips stubby because I didn't have one. So, let's put this stuff right there. Um, and we'll get to these guys, the comparison type part of the video. So, um, we'll start on every, I'll try to go through every aspect of it. Um, I guess the first thing we can look at is size of it. So this one is a lot bigger, a lot thicker in the hand too. Um, you guys can see that. Here, I'll put them down so you guys can see. If the PB Swiss will stay up, not really. Um, and the back sides of them. <clears throat> a lot thicker, um, longer too, by a little, little bit. Um, smaller, smaller actual bit holder. So um, I'm going to assume the bits won't sink in as far in this one. Let's see. Yeah, they go to that line. They probably go to right about the same place. Yeah, they do. Um, obviously, this is going to be obvious. To most people, I like the magnet on the PB Swiss one better because it's stronger. Um, if you prefer a weaker magnet, then you'd like to wear better in that aspect. They both do make noise, just so everyone hears that. There's that one, and then this one. Both make noise, the bits move. Um, grip, I like this one better because it's it's a lot grippier, in my opinion. Some people do, do really like wearer's grip, and... Uh, I just don't really, I'd rather just a whole grippy surface rather than the hard plastic, and these are grippy, but not that grippy. Um, spinning, how they spin, because I use this one, and if you're trying to kind of position your hand like this, it does not spin that well. Now, maybe with more wear in, it might. Um, I, tr I try to give it the benefit of the doubt. It does spin like this, not great if you don't have much hold on it. Um, compared to, if you're like this, this one, oh, maybe I, maybe I'm wrong. This one's definitely a lot better. This one's very worn in. Yeah, so that's probably what it is. Um, that's a mute point. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that a bad, a ping on either. Because this one is, it's, it's just because that one's worn in more, and I'm used to it. Bits, bits and bit storage. Um, both very, very similar here. Um, this one is a little bit lo larger, as you saw. Um, they have the same exact bits right now. They have a 0.8, a 1 and a 2 Phillips, a 15, 20, and 25 Torx. They have the exact same bits. Now, whereas bits are kind of interesting, I'll compare the number 1 to the number 1. So where it kind of goes for... It's a lot different. Of a bit you guys can definitely tell that but these are both number one Phillips this one almost doesn't look like it <laughs> but front down they're both number one I'm not sure which one I like better I do kind of I do tend to like wears bits um, a lot I like people Swiss a lot too so I, I don't think either one wins that there um, at least in my opinion I also have never used PB Swiss bits in an impact and really romped on them but I have used wear as an impact, and they did fine. <clears throat> uh, most of my impact bits are like Makita or something. I don't know, some random brand. Um, point to wear here for the addition of this feature. It can bend. Um, I do like that a lot. Mind you, they kind of needed that for how this bit um, carousel is here because it is a little bit more difficult to get out of the bottom piece. It's a little bit tighter of a fit, but I do like that as an option. That's really cool. This one, on the other hand, does not have it, but if you will look, 
Um, the bits do actually come out of the slot more than these guys do. Um, so you are able to grab the top of it and you're able to pull it out. And this is a lot less tight. That might just be what I mean, to be honest. Um, a lot less tight. So um, you don't really need that very much. It still would be cool if they did it. But I feel like it might take up, it might make it as big as this guy, which I don't think that's a good enough trade up. Um, the sliding actions of both of them, um, I like this one better. This one tends to get stuck sometimes, and this one I've never really had a problem with unless a bit's popped out. See? I don't know if you can hear that compared to uh, this. And compare it to the old one. Um, obviously, probably with wear and stuff, that'll be that'll be fine. Um, in the hand feel, I like both. Um, this one, I do kind of like this, the wider notches better than these guys. I kind of wish this was more squared off, maybe. Um, that would be really nice if it was. But again, I like the grip on this one better, so it's kind of a what are you what are you willing to sacrifice basically um let me see anything else um, they both look good very different very different um both of uh, both of them hold bits well they're not bits aren't going to fall out of them or anything like that i'll put the number two in each and that's what they look like with a bit in them Actually, they're pretty close with a bit in them. Yeah, they are. They're they're almost identical with a bit in them. Yeah, I'll, I'll set them down. Try and get them as even as possible. Yeah, wear is still a tiny bit bigger, but um, you're not going to lose a bit. Um, this one again, the magnet is not as strong. It's still plenty strong, but that compared to. PB Swiss always kind of goes overboard almost with their magnets. Um, but I think I'm going to give this one to my brother. Because um, I don't really need to. I'd like to keep it, but I kind of bought it. And I was like, yeah, I'll give it to my brother. I bought it for the video, and I said I'll give it to my brother. So I'll probably give this to him and um, see what he thinks of it. And, yeah, that, so that's kind of the video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, hopefully it was halfway enjoyable. Um uh if you have any questions on these guys let me know um I, I, this one i think wins um it, it could be just because i'm more used to it but i i do like the aspects more aspects of this guy compared to this guy um this guy also is a little bit bigger and it feels m more weird in the pocket um which i didn't vary i don't like that much but um you can store a six bit you can care well they have six here so you can technically have seven bits on you at all times um, with both, like I have here. Um, and you can take bits out and customize it. But, um, yeah, so again, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I did bring this guy in here too, just so you guys could have another option of another stubby. Um, I had the regular bit driving st Klein stubby, but that's gone. But both of these are better than this. Um, even though, even though this ratchets, I don't really like this one that much. Um, if I'm driving something kind of like, I can't really get much movement, I kind of use this guy. So it's a good option to have if you need it. But, uh, it, it's not the greatest. Um, this one just has a Phillips number two and a flathead. And I put a Schrader valve. Um, I'm trying, I can't, I can't remember the name right now. That and the little, uh tap here but so yeah let me know what you guys think of the video um hopefully you enjoy it and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your week bye bye guys